Hey everybody, this is Robert here. Here is the website article we're going to get started with. Fitting enough. Let's just scroll down and take a look. The first thing I've got is a table at the top. You can see formatted in Word. I've used headings. I've got images. I'm a big supporter of images and blogs. More images and stylized it all the way down. So that's really the way it's going to appear in terms of page structure. And at the bottom I also have a little area for SEO or better user engagement. What happens here is you create a secondary title that describes the topic in a different way than the main title. And I have keywords describing this specific post and I have a, made a description also describing this post. I'm also going to use one tag only with this, blog versus website. And I'm getting this all preloaded. The next step from here is we're going to copy this article over to WordPress, insert all the SEO information and images, then we can finally publish it to the web. Okay, so let's get started, but I'm just going to point out one other thing. This is using Office 2003, so the newer version, 2007, does in fact have a different method of doing this, although I would still prefer this method. As we move forward, you'll see why. So let's go to the upper left hand side. We'll click File, Save As, use the pull-down menu at the bottom here, and we want to create a simple web page. We'll choose that option. We will store, I always like to make sure I know exactly where I'm storing my documents, so I actually have allocated folders for this sort of work. And I'm going to put it in here in WordPress blog, and I'll just save, we'll say yes. Oh, it has an identical name, you can't use same names for this exercise here, we'll just change the name, it really doesn't matter, and now the document has been saved. Now we've saved our Word document to our local hard drive. Let's go over to WordPress and log in. First all you need to do is enter your username, enter your password, and log in. This is our control panel. For what we're doing today, we're just going to go to one area, simple, that's how do I put content up on the internet. So we'll click the Posts link in the upper left. We'll add a new one. We'll just make note now. We've got our editor. You'll just make note as we enter WordPress, what we see at the top here is the user's interface. In fact, how you edit. It's, it's their own editor, and it's very similar to Word, Microsoft Word. You can notice the icons above are very similar. Uh, one of them that's a little different is you, you can see this in visual or HTML view. It really depends who you are. If you are somebody who likes to work with HTML code, you can paste your code right in here. This is fully HTML compatible. But for the person that just wants to use Word, let's use Visual. And what we'll do now is we'll go back to our Word document. I'll do a Control A, which is Select All. And I'll do a Control C, which copies all of this text. We'll go back to WordPress. Again, we are in the Visual View mode. Control V on your keyboard for Paste and now you can see all the text has been imported into WordPress. The only thing you're missing is the pictures, but in fact we have the table, we have your heading texts, we have all of the formatting that you set up, including the hyperlinks you can see here, are fully embedded, so that saved a lot of work. Now we've copied that over. The next thing that we have to do is insert the pictures. So let's go ahead and get started on doing that. In your WordPress editor, you have icons at the top, in the upper left, one of the icons is Add an Image. We'll click on Add an Image. And you'll notice here that we have a media library. This would be from previous uploads, and they're accessible right now. We have a gallery. We have images that we obtained from URL, and in this case I don't have any yet. And ones that we want to get from our computer where we can upload them. So let's go to the Media Library. The first one I want is this one. I've already uploaded it. You can see there it is, and I've taken the extra time to input some important information about this, including a title, caption, description, 
And if I want to, I can insert a link URL, which would mean when you roll your mouse over this, you can click it and move to another web page of your choice. It's usually very related. At the bottom, we have two more features. I can align it, and I can choose the size I want to display. In this case, I'm just going to choose medium. So let's insert into post. We'll scroll down a wee bit, and there's our first image. So we follow that recipe throughout here now, and we would complete this whole article, get all of the pictures inserted, and the last step we're going to take is the SEO. All right, we've got all that done. You can see our images are now in our editor. We'll scroll down, we can see them all, but you remember that stuff at the bottom, that crazy SEO stuff. What's that all about anyhow? Here's the title. So let's make a copy of the title. I'm going to scroll to the bottom. If your technician has done their job right, one of a few plugins should be an SEO plugin. And here's your title. Essentially now what we've done is given this a secondary title that Google may pick up on and also people may pick up on. It's actually meaning the same as the title but it's said in a different way. Again to describe this web page we're going to use keywords. We'll make a copy, scroll down, spot for keywords, paste, back up, we have a description, same thing, make a copy, scroll down, description is here, back up for the final part of this, the tag we're going to use, and tag helps search engines sort out the category to store stuff in, and that actually is up on the right hand side, we're going to add a new tag, paste it in, we'll add it for this post, Let's choose a category. This is important as well. We're going to put this in WordPress websites. Now we're getting really close to the climactic moment. Let's title this post. This is the main title that will appear. And if we want to, we can also edit the web address or URL that we want to appear. So I really want to rank for a certain term here and I'm going to just short form it. You always dash separate and we'll call it blog websites. That's going to be the short name. I'll save that. We are completely ready now to launch. This took about four minutes to fully format and get ready once we copied from Word. Just make note of that. So let's update now and view the post online. Now that took a long time, but there we have a new post visible for everybody to see. There's your comparison, there's all your images. But what about all that SEO stuff? What was it for? Where is it? Let's go and right mouse click, view the page source, and let's scroll down a little bit here and take a look at the metadata. This is something that the crawlers or search engines will pay attention to. So I've got the keywords now visible for the search engines and it helps index your site under the right uh, category for search engines and then it gets displayed to the right people when they use keywords. You can also look up here the description is used and that is SEO. Also you may want to make note that the title here blog powered website comparison websites versus blog comparison and if you actually look way up here at the very top what is the title? This is a WordPress blog website comparison. So I've really said the same thing three different ways. And there is your blog completely finished in less than five minutes. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Robert Kennedy. Have a great day.